Welcome to Practical Pro Tips. I'm Dean Simons, Club PGA Professional here at Santa Maria Golf Club Marbella, here in sunny southern Spain. And this month's tip is... This month we're on hole number three. This is stroke index one, our toughest hole here. And for good reason. It's a long par four up the hill with a large sloping green. And this is where we're going to be concentrating in this edition. We're going to be concentrating on long putting. And why so important? So why is long putting so important? Well, a quick visit to pgatour.com and enter into the statistics section, you'll get a whole range of statistics of what these guys do and this is very important to them it's their business it's like their company spreadsheet however if you look on to the putting statistics you'll see that from one meter which is three feet how many what percentage do these guys make 99 percent almost guaranteed but once they move back to two meters or six feet it drops down to a lowly 70%. That's right, one in three they miss. And these are the best players in the world. Our chances, probably a little bit less. So this is why it's so important to get the ball close. My father always talked about the dustbin lid. And now it makes sense. That area of one meter around the hole, if we can leave the ball consistently there, our chances are pretty good the next one's going to go in. So how can we improve this? Well, I've never seen many putts two or three meters wide. However, I constantly see putts two or three meters long or short. So what we need to do is practice feel. A quick search on YouTube and you'll get endless videos on long putting. But I'm gonna show you an exercise which I use constantly, which is great for developing feel. Not only that, it's very simple too. You only need three tees and place the tees roughly 10 to 15 feet apart across the putting ring. Okay and the idea is to leave the ball a club length away from each tee. First to the short one, then to the medium one and then to the long one and then work your way back again. You can do this with five balls or with three balls, it doesn't matter. Once you've done one way, let's go down the other end and try it back the other way. Try and get as many points as you can. Or, what's even more fun, is you play with a partner. One at one end, one at the other end, and then you have a match play between you. Any which way you like, but the idea is to leave the ball as close to the tee as possible inside that dustbin lid. This is Dean Simons, club professional at Santa Maria Golf Club Marbella. Until next time.